How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a video showing you how to rotate the tires on your front wheel drive car. So this is something I've been meaning to do for a while. On my 2003 Saab 93, which is front wheel drive, I got new tires. It's probably been almost a year at this point ago. So it's probably been at least 10, maybe even upwards of 15,000 miles since I've had them and it's probably time to rotate them. Rotating your tires is especially important on a car that's front wheel drive, in my opinion, because when you think about it, if your car's front wheel drive, it's your two front wheels that are powering the car and putting in all the work, and they're also the two wheels and tires that are dealing with all the steering, the cornering, and all that. And really in a front wheel drive car, the rear tires and wheels just kind of spin and are there for the ride, so their life is a lot easier than the front ones. So most cars, especially front wheel drive ones, come with square wheel setups. I want to make this important point because if you don't have a square wheel setup, then you're not really going to be able to do this uh, at least properly. So square wheel setup pretty much means that front and rear wheels are all the same size, they're the same width, all of that. I mean, there are some newer cars out there, especially ones that are rear wheel drive. The rear tires will be a lot wider than the front ones to help put the power down better. But this car came with square wheels and tires from factory and when I upgraded the wheels, I kept the uh, square setup for this exact reason and well, it's just really not necessary to go any bigger. Really all you need for this job are some jack stands, a jack, and uh, a way to get the wheels off. It's very simple and really the primary way to do this for a front wheel drive car is to take the front two wheels off and move them straight back. So this tire is going to go back there, that tire is going to go back in that corner and then the rear wheels you're going to swap. So that one, or they're gonna go diagonally. So that one is going to go over here. That one over there is going to come up here. So these tires, which I love by the way, they're Nitto Motivos. They're, they had a good warranty when I bought them. They were relatively cheap and they have a nice aggressive tread still and they have like a 50,000 mile warranty. You can see that the tread on them is still pretty good. Uh, which I expected. The rear ones might have a little bit more life left on them. And you might also notice that if your rear has a little bit more camber than your front, like for example, you can kind of see the camber in the rear on this car, which is normal for Saabs, by the way. The 9.5s have pretty bad camber. If you look at this 9.5 arrow right here, you can really see the rear camber on those. The 9.3s aren't as bad, but if you think about it, if your camber's coming in, then that inside part of the tire is going to be wearing out faster than the outside. So that's something you could also be careful of and wary. And you should probably check just in case your camber is off. But at this point, I'm just rambling, so I think it's time I pull the car in the garage. We'll get it jacked up, and we'll get done with this tire rotation. If you're wondering how exactly I'm about to jack up the car, I have a useful video up here in the top corner that talks about jack points on these 9.3s and how to properly jack, properly and safely jack them up. Now another thing I'm probably going to do while I have the tires off is check the tire pressure on all of them. I usually keep mine at 35 psi so I'm going to just make sure they're all right around there. And finally if you don't have power tools before you jack the car up I'd recommend breaking all the lug nuts loose on the wheels. You can do that just by getting a breaker bar and literally just breaking the, the bolt loose. You only need to do it about a quarter turn. You don't want to do it too much but just enough to not make it impossible to loosen once the car is up in the air. Now would also be a good time to check your brakes, see how your pads are, all of that. So I'm gonna go check the tire pressure now, make sure they're all 35 PSI, and then we'll be good to uh, swap them around. With the tire pressures all good, now just remember we're going to be putting the front wheels straight back, so this one's going to go on the back passenger side there, this one's going to go on the back driver side, and then each rear wheel is going to go diagonal to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and move them around and we can bolt it back up and we'll be good.
tires have been successfully rotated so the last thing you want to do is let the car down i'm not going to show that on video because i actually have to do an oil change right now so i'm just going to leave the car in the air but what you're going to do once you lower the car down is get the wheels so they're touching the ground there's a little bit of weight on them and then you're going to want to torque them down Saab usually says somewhere between i think it's somewhere between like 75 and 85 foot pounds so just have a torque wrench go around double check all the lug nuts make sure they're torqued to spec and then you can lower it down the rest of the way and you'll be good to go. So I hope some of you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That being said, that's all I've got for today. And I'll see you all next time.